Alright guys, bros. welcome back to Video Bros. Yo, in, in a way where it's like, it's in 3D, like, it's like 3D like, gaming graphics, but it play like, the whole storyline and everything is just like what the show would be. So you're gonna be seeing shit in, like, virtual reality. I actually remember seeing something related to a Rick and Morty thing when I was reading something yesterday. There's also a game you get for your phone, for Adult Swim. And it's basically a game that is just about the, um... It's literally just going to different universes and fighting the Rick and Morty Council. And you know that, that, that part with all these old Rick and Mortys? Yeah, I... Every Rick of the universe came together into one society. I've finished watching Rick and Morty. Yeah. That, there's a game based off of that, that Adult Swim made. Really? I need to see that. It's literally, it's, it's like, it's, and it plays like Pokemon. Is it the thing that I saw, like, an app for? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what, uh... Why, I, I, I just thought that when you said that. Uh, I wonder what, uh, that friend of yours that makes your custom amiibos used to make Proto Man's shield. I don't know. Why? Let me see it though. I haven't actually looked at it like looked at it like that. Cause that looks fucking legit. It does. I mean you can clearly tell she like painted it. it looks very well, nice. Yeah, I think it's just wood. It looks very nice. It looks like wood. Don't break it. I won't. The fact that he put that she actually put shit through his arm. Yeah. Like, not like this? Yeah. I don't know how she did that. She probably just drilled a tiny hole and I'm like, boop. So now we're in dark Agon Wastes. What the part of the shield did and it had that like, little lip on it? I don't know, a lot of shields do that though in games. Dude, dude. Like, you can leave it like this and it'll still be all fucking awesome. Like, he's just wearing a bandana that's not that big. <laughs> dark Aether's atmosphere is dangerous. Don't go breaking my heart. That song's hilarious. Why? It's just a really funny song. Blade what? Pop don't go living... breaking my heart? Yeah. Blade you Pop. Just, you, you, you're just a woman trying to tell a guy don't break my heart. I want you to love me forever. Living How is that funny? Storage you to the egg worm. <laughs> These eggs morph their bodies around you slimes to protect them. They rely on larger ink for protection. These ink morph their bodies around useful items to protect them. They rely on larger ink for protection as they have no way of fending off enemies. Damage from all weapons will harm them, but light-based weapons are superior. The song's just really funny. Don't go breaking my heart. I mean, whenever I hear that song, I usually just picture Peter singing it, because there was I wonder where they get this shit from, though, like... Now look. You see this crystal here? Yep. Oh, I know exactly where you are. Light you hit crystal. that crystal, it lights it up, and then you have to, and then it, you know, let you keep walking forward for a little while, so it doesn't, the darkness doesn't hurt you. Actually, no. There's these little balls that are similar to this, though, that are only temporary. But these crystals, they stay lit unless you break them. See, like this. I remember doing something like this, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what that, you're I remember doing that in the in the demo disc that I have for the GameCube. Yeah, this is what you're thinking of. I know what you were talking about. Yeah. These little light beacons. I haven't played. I only played that demo just once because it got like kind of like crashed on me afterwards. What do you mean it kind of crashed on you? It either crashes or doesn't. Well, it like glitched out and then it made it work and then it just crashed afterwards. Okay, so I gotta bomb this little spot here. Would you say I'm blowing up their spot? You're an idiot. I hate puns, and you should know that. I mean, if you hated the annoying orange, then yeah, I would know that. I didn't hate the annoying orange, I just liked the Brunel part. Because annoying orange, all the jokes were literally just stupid puns. What the hell's with your thing? Like, you just like turn like, like low resolution. I don't know, it's just a game. But I don't, I don't, I didn't hate it, like I said, I only liked the Weird Al parts. He was in there for one episode. So was Alice Cooper for some reason. Alice Cooper was in there? Yeah. I can't believe that show went, like, that show went better on, on fucking YouTube than it was on, you know, on Cartoon Network. I mean, it was still bad, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad. 
No, I mean, like, you had, like, a five-minute segment. That's your that, that's your time frame. You don't stretch it out to a fucking half-hour episode. It's like with the stupid Fred videos, and then they gave him a show on on, on Nickelodeon. That's, that's the thing, though. He admitted that he fucked up on that. He admitted, he admitted that he accepted that, and he admitted that he sucked in that. He only he admitted he only did that for money. Yeah, but he he rarely he found out on 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 the actual YouTube page. He made videos saying that he that he, he regretted doing that show. Yeah, I remember seeing stuff like that, and I hear everything's review on the whole Fred trilogy of like the movies. The movies themselves don't even make any sense. He said the only good part about one, I think, or whatever, was John Cena. Whichever, no. Whichever one John Cena was in, he said that was the only good thing about it. No. Look at this, though. That looks like a fucking Star... Like a Star Wars ninja star. It does. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's part of a TIE fighter ship. So, remember that same station we were in in Light Aether, in this room? Yeah. We're in the exact opposite now in Dark Aether. We're in its counterpart room. Still the same safe station, you're just on the different planet. You're in a different dimension. You're like Star Butterfly. I forgot that, that Proto Man had a gray body. I, I always thought it was red. Hey, stop taking a shit. I'm like Star Butterfly right now. I'm, f I'm not from around here, I'm from another dimension. You need to start watching that show also. There, Proto Man loves you. You need to start watching that show too. That show is great. What show? Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I've been watching it whenever it's on. Oh, really? Which episodes have you seen? There was one. Like, I've, I've, I've watched them late at night. That's the only time I, ever, I can ever see it on. But I don't remember watching it. It was like one where, um. I know, I know what it is. I just can't remember it though. What the fuck? I hate these things. Where they, they, they go to some show, whatever? Like boy band show or something like that. Was and it like, and then, uh... Was it like the song was called Just Friends or something? Yes. Oh, that was from season two. That was later on. I remember that. They don't play like all, all the old stuff yet. The season two still... There's no season three yet, so they're still showing some two stuff. Yeah, no, um... Oh, fuck, I can't go in there. That's the one with the dark door. I can't open those yet. Okay, so... Oh, wow, I forgot about these little things. Look. What? It's crazy, right? These are light bringers, light generating forager, creature generates safe zone while living, immune to most forms of attack. The light bringers were created by Luna for use in their war with the Ing. The crystalline creatures generate a field of light giving energy at, at all times, and they can be energized like a safe zone crystal. They are immune to most weapon fire, only a burst of matter and antimatter can destroy them. I think we should end it, because I think you have, to, you have to get ready to go to your show. We're not going until a quarter after six. Why not? Yeah, no, literally all I have to do is throw on jeans or something. Because Anthony, like, thinks it looks slobbish for me to go out with, like, sweatpants on. Okay. So I know he'll be like, no. What if a girl, what if, like, just for anything, like, if a girl doesn't wear jeans, she wears sweatpants, it's okay, it's acceptable. I, I don't fucking know, dude. This shit, it's, that shit I've run stuff, like, like things that like guys and, and uh, men and women wear are the same, but girls can pull it off. Them double standards, huh? Them double standards. You get into that? Why is there a force field around it, but you can get into it? Wait, what? Why is there a force field around it, but you can get into it? Oh no, that's just for any enemies that are trying to attack me. Oh, and you gain health this way. Yeah, you can restore your health if you're Why in Why don't you just open it? Why don't you turn it on, then? What do you mean? The crystal. I, I didn't. This one's on by itself. Oh. The crystals are on by themselves, but the tiny little balls you fire at, like the little tiny beacon things that aren't crystals, 
you have to shoot those continuously whenever so wait, can they hit you dirt through the through the shield yeah but they can't step foot in this because it will hurt them okay then 